Ten years have passed since Melty Blood Actress Again Current Code was released on PC. In that time, the fighting game genre has changed and evolved. So, the question is, how does Melty Blood, a game with design principles that are being shunned, work in the modern day? Before we take a deep dive into the game, let's discuss the context of Type Lumina. Type Lumina takes place in the Tsukihime remake timeline. As a result, that means no Scion or Tatari. Type Lumina is purely Tsukihime. I understand them not wanting to introduce those plot points because, for those of you who don't know, the Tsukihime remake only covers the Arcuade and CL routes with Akia, Husui, and Kohaku, along with Satsuki's roots, planned to be in the second part of the remake. So, personally, I think it was a good call not to do the Tatari story until, well, they actually finish the entire remake. Although, it's definitely disappointing to be missing those characters. Type Lumina is a what-if scenario that takes place a week before the events of the main story. They really don't do anything with this, and honestly, it feels like an excuse to have Miyako and Koma in the game. The story offerings in Type Lumina are slim, unlike the original Melty Blood, which had a 5 hour story mode. Type Lumina only has arcade mode with your standard arcade endings. The endings aren't even that interesting and are mostly disappointing. With this being a what if story, I wish they would have had more fun with the characters and scenarios. In terms of being an actual game, Type Lumina has a number of modes. It has your standard versus and online modes, as well as some interesting single player offerings. They don't give you anything as cool as the 2v2 or tag modes from Act Cadenza, but they do give you arcade, time attack, score attack, survival, and mission mode. So, if you just want to play single player, Type Lumina at least has something for you to do too. There is also a tutorial which teaches you the mechanics of the game, but honestly, it's nowhere near as good as Undernight Inbirth's tutorial. Pretty disappointing. A feature I'm a big fan of is the color edit mode. It lets you create your own custom colors, and while it is pretty restrictive with what you can make, I enjoy it immensely, and I hope they expand it with more colors and options in the future. The character roster is iffy, with only 14 characters. Fan favorites like Nero Chaos, Satsuki, Aoko, Ozaki, and Sion have been cut, and you can really feel it. The new characters, gameplay-wise, are really fun and interesting. I especially like playing as Evolve with his icy hot projectiles. If they ever release DLC fighters for Illumina, I want all of the above in the game, as well as Shiki. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The elephant in the room is definitely the netcode. Did French Bread pull it off? Well, yeah, they did. I've played against a number of people across the US and Europe, and for the most part, everything runs silky smooth. It's not perfect, and every now and then, a desync will occur, or, if you're playing on Wi-Fi, it is a truly terrible experience. Also, the PC version tends to crash every now and then, while searching for matches, but this has been very infrequent as of late. Overall, the netcode is great, but please, play with an Ethernet cable for the best experience. Type Lumina uses Act Cadenza as a base, while adding new features to make the game easier to pick up for the modern fighting game fan. Combo timings have been made more lenient and auto combos were added. To activate an auto combo, you press the same button twice, and if you continue to press it, you will do a launcher into a short air combo. At first, I didn't like this, because I kept messing up my block strings by going in the auto combo. But once I got used to it, I can say it's overall a good thing. The other new mechanics Type Lumina added are Moon Drive and Moon Skill. Moon Drive pauses the game for a brief second letting you react to what your opponent is doing. And once in Moon Drive, your character gets passive meter gain and Moon Skills are buffed. Moon Skills act like Street Fighter's EX moves. Inputted by doing a direction with B plus C, Moon Skills come out fast, but are never invincible, but they can be jump cancelled, making them safe. 
while in Moon Drive, Moon Skills get Clash Frames, which lets you play with them more offensively. You can kind of use them like a pseudo form of bootleg armor, or like an auto guard special move in KOF. Moon skills are fun to use. I can see them becoming annoying in the future, especially since the DP ones can be cancelled on whiff and block, but as of right now, I like them. The last big change that needs to be mentioned is what Type Lumina did to shield. Now, when a shield is hit, you can go into one of three follow-ups. A launcher, a side switch, or a moon thrust. The catch is that your opponent can shield back and try to counter them, and the catch to that is you can shield back and try to counter them, and the catch to that is your opponent can shield back and try to counter them, and the catch to that is you can shield back and try to counter them, creating this endless struggle. The shield makes offense less oppressive than it used to be. It can be done as soon as you wake up, can blow up predictable tactics, and force both players to vary how and when they attack. I think something like this was necessary because in a game like Actress Again Current Code, if you got locked down by certain characters, you were just dead. And nowadays, fighters have been moving past this get hit once and die gameplay. I picked up NBA CC about 4 months ago, and while I had fun getting Ogi looped to death and learning the game, others would not enjoy the same things I enjoy, and if Type Lumina was as oppressive as current code is, I think the game would be a lot less interesting and fun for new players. Shield just adds another layer to the mind game, and like all things, maybe in the future my opinion will change of it, but as of right now, I think Shield is something we should welcome. Aside from that, Type Lumina plays like Melty should. Air combos, reverse beat pressure, last arc, they're all there, just as they should be. Lumina is simply modern Melty, and that's all I really ever wanted from it. And that was my review of Melty Blood Type Lumina. Um, it's weird to review fighting games unless they have like something cool or interesting about them. Like, uh, say Grand Blue, they had their big RPG mode. Strive has the big story mode. But uh, Type Lumina is a lot like a standard fighting game. Doesn't have a lot of features to talk about. So really, all you can talk about is the gameplay, and like I said in the review, it plays like Melty Blood except for the new moon system and shield system, so that's what I wanted to cover here. I'm really enjoying the game. I haven't had a crazy, crazy amount of time to put into it. It's been very busy lately. I have to admit, though, it's, it's really nice that Type Lumina ended up being a game that I like because I really liked Actress Again Current Code, and I kind of fell in love with the entire series after I played Tsukihime, so I was going to make this review regardless or not if the game was good or bad, so I'm happy that I live in the timeline where Type Lumina is a good game. But that's really all I have to say for now. This is the first time I've ever done a actual review for a game, and this is like my own spin on it. I really don't like to dwell on certain things. Anyway, uh, what did you guys think of Type Lumina? Are you enjoying it? Have you played it? Have you not picked it up yet? If you haven't picked it up yet for price reasons, I think this game is definitely worth a solid $30. I think it's worth its $50 if you're a fighting game fan and you plan to actually play this a lot. But if you're a Type Moon fan, you know what? Wait until December, get it on sale, play through the story mode, play through the survival, play through the boss rush. And, uh, you know, just do a little bit of color editing, that's fun. And, you know, get your money's worth of it. Anyways, again, if you watched to the end, you are a real one. And, like always, have a great day. And, goodbye.